Oh, that's cute. Good morning, everybody. It's Minute and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, or last couple of episodes, because I don't really know if I can split that up into just one episode or not, we went through the entirety of the Gritzy Desert and made our way into, or rather made our way to create the access way that will lead us into the Colosseum. And in this episode, we're going to the Colosseum. Big surprise. Head on here, and head on down. Not really sure why there's a button that lets you go through a secret passageway in the back room that is specifically made for four people. I don't know, it's just like another thing of these RPGs where just like everything's set up just exclusively for us to where it just all works out. Gee, we you both found the secret entrance. that me bamboozled. Now listen in, this is good. The birthday rooms will be arriving in a minute now. Now the troops are gathered on the other side of the wall. Let's take a look see how through one of those windows. Boy, just look at my fellas, look at all those damn mushrooms. Somehow we didn't notice that! And somehow they didn't bother to catch us as well. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, we had to have some sort of dark theme in here. I guess the abandoned train station wasn't dark enough, so we had to have somebody die. Or not just somebody. Princess Stinkin' Peach while people get eaten by a stinking... Per not, any, not just any piranha plant. Petty Stinkin' Piranha. I don't know why he's suddenly all in cahoots with the shrooms and all that jazz, but... I feel betrayed, good sir. You were one of my favorite characters in all the spin-off games and everything like that, but now that has changed. How could you do that to our beloved princess? You must pay for that. But whatever. That was a sight to behold, to say at the very, very least. But let's see if we just jump up here. We are still on another block right here, and I guess I could use this opportunity to talk about something. One of, the, one of the things that I don't entirely like about this game is the shrooms themselves. While they are incredibly dark and they do a lot of messed up things in the world around us, so we get to see a very dark atmosphere, I kind of wish they were actually written to be dark characters rather than just being... I guess there is a bit of darkness in just the fact that we can't even understand that we can't uh, make any sort of attempt to compromise with them or understand where they're coming from because we can't speak their language. But at the same time... I kind of wish we got to hear their sick and twisted thoughts of just like why they're doing what they're doing there. Uh, from the intro we heard that they're just trying to search for a new world to take over but we never really get the why because we can't understand what they're saying and I kind of wish that we had some sort of information as to like why they are the way they are and what they want to accomplish and how they got to that point. 
but you never really get that because you can't understand what they're saying, so they're just sort of left to be kind of uh, ominous in that sense. Not too terrible because, like I said, it is uh, sort of terrifying in the sense that you can't actually communicate with them. They're sort of become a lot more monstr monstrous in that way, so it's cool in that regard, and my cat is doing something. Louie, you want to go in your box? Maybe sometime soon? You want to just like... So she was tearing at the carpet a lot, and like I just decided to put like a paper, ba a plastic bag down where the carpet is, where she usually tears at it. But now she just plays with the bag instead, and it's really loud and stuff. But like it's the only way to prevent her from ripping the carpet up. But usually she's in her box and I'm recording, so I gotta like I'm in the dark right now because like late at night. Uh, let's see. Whoa, hello light. Uh, where'd the cat go? Cat is gone. Okay, cat. Goodbye, cat. Good night, moon. Uh, what a great let's player I am. All right. Uh, I think I can get them in here with the bros ball. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. And we collide into each other. Uh, maybe I didn't even need the babies. Maybe I mean, we just need the big bros. Uh, looks like it. But yeah, um, as I was saying, it is its own level of horror or just like kind of a scary situation which you can't even communicate with them. You, There's no hope of any, being able to compromise with them because you can't understand what they're saying and they probably can't understand you. But, I don't know, I kind of wish they were written in any way whatsoever, so we could have some sort of scary dialogue along with it. But, considering it's a Mario game, something tells me it would have been too terribly scary if they were actually started talking. Because when you look at characters like Cacletta and Fawful, I absolutely love how they're written, but it's not exactly scary. And when this game tries to do the whole horror theme, I uh, very much appreciate that, and I don't want to get ruined by comedic characters in an E-rated game. So, I guess we could just leave it at that. Got even more coin blocks right here. Cannonballers, love those. Refreshing herbs, I guess you could use those. Uh, up here we got... It's not a dead end, but what's over here? There's a button. Oh, uh, I guess we'll go into this one first, because it has the button. And I like shiny buttons, but I can't actually reach it. How wonderful. Okay, I guess I had the right idea all along. Just jump up here and get things started. Or uh, rather, get things shine sprite. It, that was really dumb. Uh, just hit this. We saw this puzzle before, so it shouldn't be too terrible to do it again. Just run on down here, hit that. Uh, have Luigi hit it this time, but we don't have to have Baby Luigi hit it in response. It could always just be Baby Mario. Uh, just run across here. Uh, let's see. Hit that. Run back down because there's an item for us. A pet badge. We'll check that in a second. Uh, hit this once more. Keep on running through here. And so much for Shine Sprites being like so precious and everything. Like just store him in this block so we can just use it as a flashlight over and over again. I don't know if he'll be like, Ooh, you gotta get all the Shine Sprites back because we can't survive and stuff. And like if they're all separated and stuff, it won't create the sunlight. Even though having all the Shine Sprites separated would create sunlight everywhere. But no, they gotta be all in the same place. Create sunlight somehow everywhere else. I don't know how that works. Sunshine just has like a lot of stinging weird stuff about it. It doesn't make any stinging sense. But it's still a fun game so I had fun with it. Get through this stinking area, that would be stinking nice, but no, we'll just keep on failing over and over. Okay, do that, and jump, run across here, and there we go. Have Mario hit this, go, and we are good, good, good. I'm not going to risk it too much. Uh, we're going to use the D-pad, I was using the other, the circle pad. Okay, oh, come on. Uh, going all the way back over here. Hoi! Okay, cool. Uh, adult trousers once again, and Ultra Mushroom. Uh, gonna hit this once more. Jump across here. And go over here. Have Luigi hit this. Jump across. Run down. Just being extra careful. And we are good. I don't like it being on Luigi, though. Let's hit it one more time so that it goes to Mario. It's gonna go to Mario. Uh, yes it is. Okay, cool. So it wasn't Super Luigi Sunshine, it was Mario Sunshine. You can't have Luigi with a shine spray. That's like crazy stuff. Uh, we got that taken care of. Just get the babies once again and head inside. Jump up here and land on this platform. And oh, it isn't a button this time. It's a levitating platform. And this is incredibly awkward. Mamma mia. Mamma mia.
Luigi! <laughs> Bone squiggly question mark? Babies! <laughs> oh my god. Already got ourselves a boss fight. This is the Shrewboid Brat. It's a mid boss, it seems, but we'll see if we can get it done. We use the trampoline on him. Kind of weird to use a trampoline with just one enemy, but that means we don't have to worry about focusing on different things. We're just going to focus on him, do a buttload of damage because I'm great with the trampoline. Just going to keep on bouncing, 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 bouncing. It's one of those like repetitious games. I kind of wish there was like a side mode where you could just play these. Uh, Bouncing mini games, just like play with the rose items as much as you want, kind of like a practice mode or whatever. Because it's fun to just like see how high you can get with a combo or whatever. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like the paper airplane thing from WarioWare, how it's like a DSiWare game on its own because it's just so sick and awesome and everyone loves that thing. Yeah, whatever. I was actually playing that earlier today. I was just trying to get beat my high score of 198. Uh, as you can see, like you, he does that. Okay, so the crowd will hold up signs showing which character he's going to attack, but they kind of throw you off. So. They had a bunch of green signs with an M on it, so that showed he was going to go for Mario. It doesn't matter what the color, you gotta look for the letters. So there were more M's than L's, so he was going to hit Mario. That's what you gotta remember. Uh, right now we're going to use another trampoline, because why not? But uh, yeah, I was playing Paper Airplane Chase earlier today, because I was trying to beat my high score of 190. I'm sure I had a higher score before, but like it was on my DSi before, and then uh, when I transferred it over to the 3DS, it uh, lost all of its data. So that's kind of unfortunate. But uh, I wound up playing it, and I wound up dying exactly at 198 is, again, I don't know how that happened, but whatever, I just wanted to break 200. So singing badly, but it failed. I failed. Can't blame the game. Gotta blame it on myself, I guess. Just keep on jumping. Surprised I haven't failed yet. Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. Oh my god, this is really cool. Uh, there we go. And you're good. Okay. 363, really sinking good. Uh, let's not use it. Let's not be too overpowered, I guess. Let's use a pocket chomp this time. Uh, but yeah, other, speaking of games that uh, lost their save data once I transferred over from DSi to 3DS. Also, just, can we take a minute to remember the DSi? That was a great second little system. I kind of wish it, uh, some of its features got, I guess I did get a bunch, but like, I don't know, it's just a cool little segment in Nintendo history that I, I tend to forget about. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, uh, a game that I got on DSi and lost its data once I transferred it over to the 3DS was a game called Mighty Milky Way. It is... A game made by way forward the people who make Shantae and I was stuck on that game for so many second years because I was never really playing it excessively I was just playing it on and off and whatnot so I got four worlds each world has like ten levels it's not too terribly long but it was just there were one or two levels in the game that were so singing hard I could not get past them like it was three 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 uh L M M M okay Gonna eat a bunch of fire flowers that was not what I thought you were gonna do. What the fruit, dude? Oh wait, he ate them in reverse order, so that's why. God darn it. That's why, because like, he eats, th that sort of makes, I don't know. That was sort of weird, I remember that being weird. Okay, so we'll eat another one of mushroom. So we gotta have Mario here to get the experience, whatnot. But as I was saying, um, I was playing Mighty Milky Way and it's not too terribly long, but there are some levels that are like really sick and hard, kept me stuck on it for a long time. But, uh, once I transferred over, I remember I was stuck on the final boss of the game, but I could never beat it. And then when I got the 3DS, I transferred it over and I lost all my save data. So I just sort of, like, lost my motivation to, uh, try and finish that game. Well, I eventually worked my way back up and I was stuck on this level that was, I don't even know what it was. It was just, like, a level in World 3. And I just got stuck for a bunch of years. But just yesterday, I finally decided to go back to it again. And I finally beat that level and I made my way to the final boss again. Okay, so this is... It's all going to Mario, but... So I should... Well, either way, it's a reverse thing, so... Don't hit... Oh, hit that one! Uh, don't hit this one. Get that. Okay. Hit that. And hit that. Okay. Not really sure what the pattern is, because I'm getting kind of confused with this, so... I might be... Might just be random, actually. I don't even know. It, maybe it's just telling you how many times he's going to go for each bro. That might be it, so... Okay, you just have to remember that, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll use the pocket charm. I don't want to use the trampolines too excessively because I actually really like them. 
And we don't have too many of them right now, so I'd rather save it for a later time. Oh, hey! There's the female chain chop that I was talking about before. It has a slightly different sound, and it just has a bow in its head. Nothing really different. It doesn't actually do any different damage or anything like that. It's just a cool Easter egg, I guess. Uh, but yeah, as I keep on trying to say with Mighty Milky Way, watch me beat the boss while I'm trying to finish the story. I, wow! Can I call them, or can't I call them? I will never get to finish this story about Mighty Milky Way. Time for cutscenes! You know, there was a trap door there already. I don't know why I just opened that up instead of just breaking your stinking coliseum. You know how much money it's going to cost to repair the damages to that thing? That was funny. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like, I guess I appreciate those little comedic moments and it gives these characters sort of personalities even though they don't really have any sort of dialogue between each other. I guess that's something that you only get to see in uh, future Mario Luigi games. Maybe I just not remember it properly, but I don't know. I don't remember too many moments where the character, where the playable characters interact with each other. Uh, but whatever. As I was trying to say, now that we're underground, we're trying to make our way back above ground, or I guess we could say Peach while we're at it. Uh, now that we're stinking underground, trying to finish the story, uh, but first we have a shop down here, as we can see, because there's a shop icon, and there is a uh, extra passageway, so it leaves reason to believe that we will find a shop at the end of this passageway. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Hey, this here's a secret Monty Mart for folks of the know. Check out all the items. Uh, just regular items from before, I guess just in case you need to restock on stuff. Uh, I can use some more one of mushrooms, I think. Let's go ahead and get four of those. Uh, I guess that's good for now. Oh, wait, bros items, because we needed some. Uh, how about we get some trampolines, because I like using them. You need stuff? Drop on by. And this guy, does he have anything new for us? I'm not sure. Uh, he has muscle slacks. Dangerous. Dangerous slacks that do only one thing, increase power. Uh, it's good for Mario, but it would decrease defense for Luigi. Uh, by a lot, actually. Uh, Svelte slacks. Okay. Uh, relatively useless slacks, but stylish. Increases pretty much everything except attack. But it would lower attack for Mario, so... I might get that for Luigi, actually. Thrilling pants. That's a great sticking name. Uh, pow increasing pants that will set your heart racing. And tissue pants. Super stylish pants that don't do much besides make you look good. Uh, I will get the muscle pants for Mario. I will get the thrilling pants for the babies. And... Uh, Svelte pants for Luigi. It decreases, it lowers his defense a lot. I guess it would be the same for Mario. It's just that, like, because he still has that thing going where he has really crazy attack but no defense. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep it as is for now. Badges, you got Pow Peak Badge. Temporarily increases attack power when time runs out, you faint. Excuse me? That is interesting. Increases defense when, uh, when damage take or decreased damage taken when time runs out, you faint. Dire Pow Badge does tremendous damage when you have less than a quarter of HP left, so it's kind of like close call in Paper Mario. Uh, or pretty lucky or something. I don't know. 
use as many attack items as you like when you have less than a quarter of your HP left. So it's kind of like that, uh, the ultimate badge that Fawful has, but only when you have low HP. So that's kind of interesting, in which they give you a time limit on battles, but you become extra powerful in the process. Kind of risky, so I'm not going to go for it. Uh, I do want to sell my excess gear, though, now that we have it. Now that we got some new upgrades, sell the unarmed jeans for a very chump change. Secret agent jeans as well. Adult trousers, uh, wild trousers, and we are good to go. As I was saying, trying to tell this story about sinking mighty Milky Way, a game that nobody knows about or cares about, probably. Especially so because, like, you'd probably wonder how I could get stuck in the game for so long because we're in the modern day and age. If I have a problem with the game or I'm stuck on a game, just look up a Let's Play of it and then it should be good to go. Uh, Dark Boo, exactly like the regular Boo, except more powerful. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why that is. Oh, he steals items! Okay, you jerk. He's also super speedy. Uh, so we just definitely want to get rid of him, get my item back. So yeah, uh, you probably wonder why I didn't- Oh, my 3DS is red already? My god. Probably wonder why I don't just look up a single Let's Play to, uh, figure out what I could do so I could, like, get past the final boss or whatever, or just get through the levels. There was not, and as of recording this, there is not a single Let's Play of Mighty Milky Way on YouTube. And that was really shocking to just, like, see- a game that wasn't let's play on YouTube so that sort of makes me want to let's play it just so I can be like the first one to do it but then probably there isn't a high demand for it so I don't know if anyone would watch it I don't know it's just like I remember a while back there was no let's play of Chibi Robo Park Patrol on YouTube it, right. it was not a single let's play of Chibi Robo Park Patrol on YouTube and I kind of wanted to uh be the first one to let's play but then that uh got finished by somebody so that's kind of unfortunate but um I don't know, it's just so seeming weird that there was no Let's Play of Mighty Milky Way on YouTube, so I couldn't figure out how to beat the final boss or get through any level that I was stuck on. It was just sort of weird. It was like back in the olden days where I just have to keep on playing and get good until I beat it. But yeah, I finally did it. And just yesterday, I finally, finally, after so many years, beat the final boss of Mighty Milky Way. And I have to say, I was not expecting that ending. It was ingenious. I don't want to spoil it for you, but without saying anything, Mighty Milky Way has the best ending to any game I have ever played. All right, maybe not the best, but like one of the best. One of the best, one of the best endings and one of the best, I don't even want to say anything more because I don't want to make any sort of attempt at spoiling this thing. I don't want to give you any sort of hints. It was ingenious what they did and what happens in the end. And the fact that I was not expecting this in the slightest, that I was stuck on this for years, like, it's just insane that this wound up happening. I was just, I was blown away in so many single ways. I could not believe it what had happened. I don't want to say anything else. I wanted to describe it. I don't want to say it was thrilling. I don't want to say it was exciting. I don't want to say it was scary. I don't want to say, use any other word other than just saying it was amazing. It was ingenious what they did. But like, my god, play that game. It's probably like less than, it's probably like a dollar or something on the 3DS eShop right now. So go ahead and play. It's a very short game, a cute little indie game, but that ending, my stinking god, that ending. That was stinking insane. Oh my god, I don't even know. That was one of the most amazing endings to any games I've ever played. And I was not expecting it from that game, so it was like so amazing that that happened. Oh god, it's like a mighty Milky Way. Uh, I still need to- it was like a moment in time where like I wanted to let's play all the mighty games like Mighty Flip Chance, Mighty uh, Milky Way, and Mighty Switch Force. I'm not done with any of the Mighty Milky Way was actually the first one I beat him. So I'm not done with Flip Champs and there's not really a story to it as far as I'm aware. So not really super into trying to finish that. Uh, mighty Switch Force has a uh, cool little- has like a very cool art style and uh, characters, just funny looking characters and whatnot. So it's funny to look at and whatnot, but I don't know, it's just not something I entirely want to finish, but I, I do want to finish at some point just because it's a fun little game and like it should be short and easy, but the levels do get harder and harder as time goes on and there's a sequel to it. So that's kind of cool. Um, 
I do have the single way. I haven't even started it yet because I want to finish the first game, of course. But yeah, there was a moment where like I had an idea to let's play all the Mighty games one after another. I'd call it like Mighty May. I would let's play them all in May and just play them all. But they're all really hard and I haven't beaten any of them. So I never really got around to that and I probably never will. I kind of want to do it for Visnomatic. I think that would be a much better fit. I'm also trying to get into streaming more because uh, I said in the end of Mario Party 4 that I would want to... Uh, do the thing where I go through Doors of Doom over and over throughout all of Year 7 and possibly reach a Twitch affiliate, see what happens first. So maybe that would be good for uh, streaming if I was just playing the Mighty games, so uh, why the heck not? Yoikes! Oh yeah, you got kidnapped, didn't you? Also, it's weird that we don't have the babies with us. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What's the big deal? Unhand me a clods. We're not, we're not fighting the boss now, are we? Hey, it's time, fellas. Book it up, book book it up. You're talking to me loose, will ya? Bust me out here. I'll stack, I'm stack for sure. Come on, we're pals, ain't we? I gave you the dirt on the secret entrance, didn't I? That one's still time to make me good exos, carries, carries from me. Come on, hurry up! Yikes! Good thing the babies weren't here to see that graphic content. Uh, not sure what he dug through. I guess that's supposed to be sand. It looks like water to me, so I always thought, like, how do you dig through water? Why can't we go down there? But no, it's supposed to be sand, I guess. Uh, babies are nowhere to be seen, so let's put them over here. It's a real, real, weird way of wearing that. Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, Mighty Switch for Force and all the Mighty games, all that stuff. I would like to play them on Visomatic or possibly on stream or whatever. Uh, not sure how that's gonna happen. I don't know. It's just like... With the whole streaming thing, it's just that, it kind of like when I was talking about how I don't like the idea of selling my script ideas to other people, because I don't like the idea of just making a bunch of stories just for the sake of making money, and just not really having any attachment to the stories afterwards, because it just seems like a little one-off thing that I wrote just for the heck of it. I don't like that, because that's sort of why I do my channel the way I do. I don't like having just a bunch of one-off episodes or series or whatever. I like only doing Let's Plays, because I like each thing I do on here to have purpose and a meaning like a, a story from beginning to end that is actually complete and whatnot. It's not just done for the heck of it. Like a little first 20 sort of thing. Not like, no offense to anyone who does that. I certainly like watching. I do like watching that content, so I don't know why I'm not okay with... Battery's running low on my PC. What the fruit? I thought it's plugged in! What the fruits were low on my PC! 18 minutes record? What? Oh, okay, I'll go kill- Oh, I know what's wrong with it, but give me a second. Oh god, 3DS is dying, and the computer's dying, and recording, oh Jesus. <laughs> Well, that was an adventure and a half, so I have my c computer plugged into, my laptop plugged into an outlet that is only on whenever the light switch is on, the light switch wasn't on like I thought it was, so it wasn't charging, is it charging right now? Uh, okay, cool, it's charging, cool. But, um, yeah, that was a thing, now I have the 3S plugged into the charger, so hopefully I won't have to worry about that later on, and yeah, that was the joy of recording while laying in bed because it's a 3DS game. I could sort of get away with it. I was wondering because, like, I was... Oh, I should be fighting. I was wondering because, like, I was um having some problems with starting the recording up and when I was just, like, whenever I had the screen on OBS, it was, like, making a lot of glitchy, staticky noises. It was like, why is this suddenly happening? Why am I having all these problems with syncing 3DS recordings all of a sudden? But no, it was because, like, it wasn't... Maybe it wasn't fully powered, so that was the problem with it. So... Okay, hopefully that won't happen again. Uh, but yeah, hopefully the recording's okay as well. But uh, as I was talking, what the fruit is this thing? It is a Sniffaro. Like a Sniffit sarcophagus. Or a sniffer oh, Sniffit Pharaoh, I get it. Uh, what could it do? It could uh, pop its little head out and ride the tombstone like a rocket or the sarcophagus or whatever it's called uh jump on it again and it's dead okay cool as i was trying to say like i was talking about i don't like the idea of just like having uh videos or uh games that are just like a little one-off series or whatever because i like the idea of let's always being like a beginning to end adventure i don't like just the idea of just streaming games that are like released the second they get released 
and just playing the first little bit of it. Because then you see everyone do that. You see everyone playing the first half hour of Smash Ultimate's World of Life. You see everyone streaming the first few towns of Pokemon. Let's go. And some people finish it all the way to the end. But um, I'm not entirely a fan of blind Let's Plays. Uh, I'm not a fan of doing blind Let's Plays that um, of games that aren't like super story driven. So there's no real point to doing them blind. And I'm not uh, super good at commentating those. And I just want to do the games that I believe I could have a fun time with and just have a full story with and do it from beginning to end. I don't ever want to cancel a series. I don't want things to just be just for the heck of it. There are some instances where like I kind of wanted to do it. Like uh, an example would be The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I don't want to do a Let's Play of that game because I'm not super keen on it, but it has one of my favorite gaming moments in it is which uh the cafe the andrew and cafe quest uh if you play the game you know what i'm talking about i wanted to make a video on that like just on that like maybe have it just voice acted and whatnot but i don't really see the point of it i don't know it's just it's just like a one little side thing that i have wanted to do but i never really uh i don't know what the point of it or the place of it on that on this channel would be but i've kind of done that in the past for like I made a Sonic Forces music video showing off the knight's costume, and that's honestly everything that I would ever want to do if I did a Let's Play of it, so I probably will never Let's Play Sonic Forces, because I already made that video where I showed off the knight's costume and did like a music video sort of thing, so that's sort of the gist of that. I kind of only want to make little one-off videos if it would serve the game justice, or if like I would never Let's Play it, I guess, but... I don't know, I don't want the channel to just be filled with like a bunch of mini adventures that don't really mean anything or that you don't remember because I like the idea that you could possibly, any viewer out there could conceivably remember every single Let's Play I did or every single adventure we went on or at the very least like talk about all the years and everything when I do the year reviews talk about every single thing, literally every single thing we did on the channel and it's crazy doing like 14 different Let's Plays, that's a lot of singing videos. And like you could still keep track of it because they were all individual series which is just like a million random videos it was a series of videos that like all had a beginning and an end we could keep track of it it's not just like a million one-offs so i get to talk about literally everything that we did so that is why i kind of like that's sort of like why i like doing what i do in the way that i do it i know it's not everyone's uh style and i know uh especially in today's day and age it's not uh, super liked or whatever but uh got a nice flower okay a coin what do they want me to do exactly oh uh, you want me to wait until there's the same thing on screen at the same time i guess uh if that exists yeah there's a mushroom okay we got a mushroom correct we got one Okay, they're going back and forth this time. Uh, coin. Hopefully, you don't need to be mushrooms every single time. No, they do not. Teray. Got two. And this is confusing. Uh, I mean, there was a mushroom there before. Okay, cool. It counted. And three. What do we get? We get progress. Cool. Uh, do I have to, like, empty the baby? Probably. Get that out of here? Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's sort of, like, why I do the things I do and, like, how I do it. It's just, that's how I roll. I don't even know how to finish off this subject or topic, but, like, let me know what you think, what you sort of like to watch. And if you're a creator or if you ever wanted to be a Let's Player, how would you want to go about doing it? Or just a content creator on YouTube, like, if you had the ability to do it, but you currently don't. Like, what would you want to do if you had the ability to make videos in however way you want? Would you want to do just Let's Plays or would you want to do like little one-off videos? I just don't like the idea of forgetting any of these things, so that's sort of why I like to make it like focus on this one specific thing to where you can remember every single thing we did. But that's just me probably. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with streaming. Like, this is another thing like I... Wow, that was really quick. Uh, I don't know how to go about presenting it is that do i want them to be done as like like when i do a full game on stream is it counted as a let's play technically i've done full games through stream before i've done like a full stream of super mario galaxy back in the day of sonic and the black knight uh, a lot of fun stuff it's just that um i don't know i don't count them as let's plays for whatever reason like Unfortunately, those recordings are gone. I kind of wish I had them still, but they're not, no longer here for... I don't know if it was on purpose or if, like, Twitch just 
like actively makes it so you can never keep things. They hate having archived streams for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, that's just sort of like why I don't really want to get in stream because like I don't like the idea of things just being forgotten. I like having stuff documented. I like having the adventures actually mean something because like it was about what was going on at this point in time. It was just like, oh hey, we're just going through a day or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. I don't know how Let's Play is all that different. It's just that like I get to edit it and present it in like this different product and stuff that you wouldn't be able to do on stream. Or maybe you will be able to do on stream and I'm just not talented enough to know how to work it like that. But I don't know. I like doing the voice acting thing. I like having the edited stuff like sort of certain graphics or bios or whatever. I don't know. I'm just an old fogey who doesn't know how to stay hip with the kids and whatnot. Trying to do things my way, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. But sometimes it does. I just, I still enjoy what I do, and I'm always going to enjoy it. There's never been a point where I haven't enjoyed it, so I guess you just keep on enjoying it and be happy with that. But, uh, okay, that was an attack. <laughs> uh, but I don't know, just let me know what you think about that, or if you could even piece together anything that I said right now, that would be cool. But yeah, in terms of what I'm going to be streaming, I like to just stream like bonus content for LPs, so this is going to be like bonus content for Mario Party 4. As for like other things though, do I want to stream the Mighty Games or other games? And if I do, is it going to count as a Let's Play? Will I talk about it in the future? Am I okay with not talking about it in the future? And like, why would I not want to talk about it in the future? I don't even know. It's just really stinking weird. I probably just need to learn to let things go and just not care as much. But I don't know. I went this far caring so deeply about everything. So maybe I should just keep it that way till the very end. I really don't know. Okay, got rid of the last two dark boos on the screen, and we are good now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this, which is another pair of trampolines, or triple pair of trampolines, whatever. Uh, there was a bean spot around here, correct? There wasn't, or I got it already, I just don't remember. That sounds more likely. Uh, what's down here, though? There is... Uh, ba bombs! Hooray! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Get that bean first. And something I actually... God darn it. As I was trying to say, something I recently found out is that you can actually dig underground while there are enemies on the field, and if you pop up a, from under them, you will stun them, and it'll make it easier for you to get a first strike with the hammer uh, as the babies. So that's a really cool tactic if you're ever alone with the babies. We got Dire Free Badge. Oh yeah, we got a Pep Badge earlier, and I never showed it off. Uh, pep Badge. Become impervious to all status effects. That's pretty nice. And the... What do we just get? The training badge? Use as many attacks as you like, but lose a lot of power for practice. So they're a lot weaker, but you have a lot easier time with uh, the action commands for bros attacks. Or for item attacks or whatever. Or, yeah, attack items. Okay, whatever. It makes the un unlimited, but you lose a lot of power, I guess. Don't really want to equip that. Uh, I guess we'll use that for Luigi as well. Use that for Paper Mario, and we're good. Okay, we're just gonna dig it down here. We're gonna end this episode off soon. Don't worry about it. I, saw, I apologize that these episodes are ending up being really long. It's like an entire segment's done every episode. Uh, I think we explored the entire underground, didn't we? I think all that's left is that pipe over there. I'm gonna make one more roundabout trip, and if there's nothing else here, then I guess I'll just cut away. Uh, did I see what was in here? Survey says... I didn't! Okay, we got ourselves two green peppers. Uh, a couple of coins, and uh, two red peppers. Very, very nice. Uh, looks like there was another bean that I missed, so we're just going to grab that real quick. Now that we made our way back around, we've entered this area with the warp pipe, and we are now going to access the second half of this area, because... Oh, there's another warp pipe there, so... This, uh is breaking the trend of having just two areas per dungeon. Hooray, we have probably three areas this time. Oh, they're up in the ante this time. We're going to end things off right here now. Next time on Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, we are going to continue our way through the underground in search of Petty Piranha. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. And yes, I know his name is Petey Piranha. We went through this a bunch of times in the past. Or was it the future? Or present? I don't know. See you all later.